All right, everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm just going to do uh, the midweek update and show you what I have done. So um, I finished up this area, which was kind of fitting in all those boards. Uh, I talked about the base for the refrigerator and the refrigerator before. It's now permanently installed. Um, but getting this area closed up here uh, turned out to be a far larger challenge uh, than I expected. Ultimately for this curved piece right here. So what I mean by that is these boards terminated roughly about right here. And in here was just some uh, metal channeling that's part of the body of the van that I needed to conceal. And uh, it was very irregular, <clears throat> so it was challenging. So what I did is beneath this board within that metal chan uh, channeling, I with the, some adhesive, I glued a few blocks in, okay? And then this is a piece of cedar, and I actually planed that down to a quarter inch thick. You guys can see how thin that is right there. And that allowed me to bend it and fit it in place without it uh, splintering. But it took a little trial and error, a little bit of practice to figure it out. And then down here, uh, this was a little gap where the boards didn't go all the way across. And, uh, and I just had to fit those in place too. Um, again, I know it probably doesn't seem challenging, but it was very, very hard to get everything to, to line up there and sit just right. And of course I did just a little decorative trim there. Now this will all be covered with a cushion, of course. So the fridge is in place. Um, I built this, uh, box down here. These little tie straps, I'll trim these up later, but these hold the fridge down. So far, so good. Drove it around a little bit yesterday. And then there's a drawer down here. Of course, I got to put a drawer front. I'll do some cedar on that. Uh, this drawer, I, uh, uh, my intention is just to put like, you know, a couple little pots and pans that I would use for cooking and stuff down in there. I took a few small items from the kitchen and they seem to fit in there just fine. So I think that'll be a, a good storage spot for that. A little easier to access than I thought it would be. Um, to the fridge. So like I said, I constructed the base to get the fridge off the floor a little bit and to mount it securely. That base is screwed to the sheet metal of the van. Got a drawer in there. And then right here, this is a lagoon mount. Okay, so this is a mount that's meant to hold a table. As you guys can see, I've obviously not constructed the tabletop yet. And it rotates. And these mount on a mount that's uh that this leg slides in via a dovetail and then you tighten it down with this little with this little um little knob here and then this dovetail mount is screwed with lag bolts to this base so it's real strong and then the back side is that dovetail that slides in there so if i loosen this up i can pull this whole pole out or as you guys can see right here i can drop the pole lower into the crevice that's made by this little step here and turn the table around and right here i'm sitting in my uh, passenger chair that rotates around and if i drop this lower uh, i would have a tabletop here at this chair uh, eating typing whatever uh, so i like this so far um, the rationale again imagine there is a tabletop here it's not going to be a big one but the rationale is if i'm here in the kitchen of course, I talked about my flip-up table there that gives me some counter space, but I do acknowledge that I have some limited counter space up here in the kitchen area. Uh, but over here, if I had a little tabletop on there, it gives me a little bit more counter space and I can rotate that around. Um, in theory, uh, that seems as though this will be a smart idea and work out well. Um, in practice, we'll see. Um, of course, to open the fridge, I'd have to slide that over to the side. Uh, I don't think it will be, uh, that doesn't, it obviously is not a big deal. I'm just kind of not sure in practice if that's something that will get annoying and how much I'll use this tabletop, but we'll see. Um, I think it's a pretty neat idea and uh, uh, we'll see how it works out. Um, and then up here, let me walk over on this side here. Um, so this was a, a section where I was actually going to do something else, but I had a, I, 
I tried and tried and had a, a frustrating time and ultimately ended up just putting in a shelf. I think in retrospect, putting in the shelf was a smart idea. So this is uh, has quite a bit of storage back in here. Mounted the thermostat here. And of course, we talked about the TV mount before. And that TV can uh, swivel so it can be seen in the back or in the front section where my little uh, rotating chair are. Uh, but I like this now, this, uh, this little storage area, this little shelf. That uh, piece of walnut trim there, I'll extend it down the length of this uh, at some point in the future. And let's see what else we got going on here. Okay. So down there, if you guys can see, let me zoom in a little bit. I got that sidewall all sheathed in with cedar. Uh, over here, uh, I started that wall there. And uh, I tidied up all the wires down there and put in a bunch of insulation down in these uh, bottom parts down there. And uh, in a nutshell, that's about it. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let me show you guys something here. The door. So this door, the door right here, this is what will close up the bathroom. Uh, right now I uh, got it all squared up. I assembled this using that method I discussed in last Sunday's live and uh, put some weight on the corners and I'm just going to let that set up for a little bit. But this will be the bathroom door. Uh, so it's a cedar door. I think it's quite nice. I think it'll fit with the uh, the motif in there on the camper. So, but guys, in a nutshell, that's about what I've gotten done this week. Um, and uh, we're moving along. Uh, like I said, I was going to try to get the bulk of everything done by the end of this month. I'm not quite sure if I'll meet that goal, but that's fine. Uh, but everything's going smooth now. Uh, last week was a little hard with that shelf section I talked about. I was going to try a little bit more of a decorative solution, but that didn't quite work out. But we made it past it, and I'm happy with the results. So thanks, guys, for tuning in.